Welcome back to Bedrock. The ultimate showdown is upon us as the Day 21 Horde approaches, and there's much to do to prepare. So the plan today is to expand the crafting room and set down additional workstations, then further upgrade the base to concrete. And after that, the ultimate test, defending against the Horde in this tomb of a base. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So uh, first things first, I actually, I made a little bit of a mod for myself, and that's gonna be to get the hoist stuff, like the chain and the hook which will uh, allow me to replace this like wooden cable that we made. So um, basically it's just gonna require some forged iron for me to make that and I, I don't know, just make it in the inventory. It's just for decoration. And I also uh, made a little bit of a mod so that I can craft all of the flags. So USA flag, honor, duty, the Duke flag. And that way we can get some more like decor in here at some point, but for now, we've got a lot of crafting to do. Kick things off with a brand new workbench, a new forge, Drop that in. This one here will be the stone forge so that we can make cement, so that we can then make concrete mix, which by the way, I unlocked the cement mixer. And by the looks of it, I think I unlocked it a while ago because I think it was 30 magazines for that and I'm at 33. So I'm gonna get a couple of those done today. Okay, for a couple of minutes here while we're waiting on the workbench to progress further, let's come over here and work on the fighting position. So I've had so many people reach out to me and ask me what my opinion is on the scaffolding ladder as a fighting position block. Uh, I think it was cops can't spit through it or something, so it's like spit proof, which is actually really cool. And it has the same characteristics as the baluster rail in that you can uh, you can reach through it to repair or hook up a generator or, you know, uh, you can throw molotovs and stuff through it. Uh, let me just see, what does this look like if I try to throw through that? Yeah, I can throw through that pretty well. And I can throw through this, of course, pretty well. So it's better than bars or like security gates in that regard. Let's see if I can uh, swing through this. I think I can, right? Yeah, it's not too bad. So, you know, I'll be swinging at zombies pretty much in this lane and then in this lane. But then if zombies are kind of cl climbing up on stuff, I can see where this might be a little bit of an issue. I don't know, it seems to it seems to work okay, but maybe not for this run for uh, for the sledgehammer. I'd be more comfortable with like a spear setup uh, for this. Uh, but there is a block that I do like, and uh, it was the block that was in there just a second ago. What's this one called? This is called the Plate Diagonal Filler Double, and it seems to slide right in there perfectly. And it just, it, I think it would be narrow enough so that zombies can't squeeze through there. I want to try it out anyway, but you know... We might be able to get away with, instead of using the baluster rail, maybe we could use the scaffolding ladder for like the bottom and the top here. I mean, if they are in fact like spit proof and stuff, that would be really, really helpful. Oh, also, that gives me a much better lane to kind of swing at zombies if they're kind of stacked up on top. Okay, I'm not, I'm definitely willing to try that. Okay, let's, um, let's, we gotta focus more on the workbench though for now. Yep, get that down. Okay, right there, and then let's proceed with more crafting. Pump shotgun, vehicle supercharger mod, three by three roll up door, two cement mixers, and the rest is basically just cobblestone rolling in my inventory. Okay, back to work here. <laughs> Should we do like a hybrid where we do one with the scaffolding ladder and, oh no, it's in the wrong orientation, isn't it? Because well, that's the one that zombies can climb on. Yes, vertically like that, because that way the zombies can't climb on it. And then exact opposite, like so, and geez, it doesn't look very <laughs> concealing, you know, for cop spit and such. Okay, I think I can sacrifice the wood for all this over here. Let's solidify this. Okay, that's done up as much as it needs to be for tonight. The rest of this, okay, very important stuff over here. Get this up. Wait, what are we looking at? Okay, 489. I actually quite like that feature. I wasn't so sure about it initially, but now I can, at least I can see what I have left for resources while I'm upgrading. I think it's more useful while upgrading than it is while harvesting. Someone commented on the last video like, this is gonna be <laughs> some sort of a Super Mario Brothers course from hell. I love that. Okay, and then other important blocks include, yeah, structural supports down here that are at zombie head height. So that would be this one and that one. So that uh, if they start beating on those, they'll last longer. Oh, did I just see that I leveled up too? Let's just make sure that we spend that before Horde Night. What do we got? We got one point. Ooh, okay. Not gonna really help us. One point never really does much because we're in the stage where we need two points to get strength up. In fact, I might just have to hold off on that and hopefully remember tonight to use the learning elixir and we can level up a little bit, spend like three or four, or maybe five skill points tomorrow. 
Oh, that's it right there. I'm very much curious to see if zombies will go back here or if I need to like block them off somehow from doing that. It wouldn't be too difficult. Just have to put some sort of like a pole block, you know, like this pillar 0.05 on face like that. That that would keep them out, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it, I guess. Okay, and then as for, oh, geez, yes, a lot of this stuff over here needs to be upgraded. How are we looking on, oh, we got like thousands of cobble. Okay, so all of this can just go straight to cobblestone then. And that door... I think, um, I don't want to upgrade it any further because, of course, we got to replace that with the vault door. So, for now, let's just put, um, I, like, anything in here to just get the zombies over to us, you know? Yeah, just something like that. Something to just, you know, allow them to sort of walk straight over. For today, for tonight, let's just try this. I can very easily knock that stuff out if I have to. Okay, everything else to cobble them. As for this fighting position, I might just upgrade this to... How are we looking on wood? Not great. I'll get this up to cobble just in case a zombie, you know, like accidentally jumps onto this side or gets deflected off the deflector over here or you know something things happen right okay so that's uh we're 100 here let's check on the whole crafting situation hey hey there's the new pump action shotgun and here's a three by three door and we're gonna have to decide on a color theme for the base uh, you can't go wrong with black can you black's really easy to match things with and let's do it i don't know what good that's gonna do but uh, I'm doing it anyway. I think I'll I'll have, I wanna have like an airlock type of situation where there's a door here and then door here so that if anything bad ever did happen, we could kind of retreat back, seal it off, get in the vehicle and get the hell out of Dodge. Oh my goodness, here's a whole bunch of stuff ready over here. Okay, cement mixer in, nice. And I think I have some stuff I can turn into mix. Yeah, here we go. Yes, okay, finally. Good, good, good. 700 each, please. Right, I think uh, that just about does it on the crafting front. I'm excited to see how this works. In fact, I should probably have compared it to the, the Dubsy over here. How was the uh, damage comparison? 18.2. Oh my god, down to 11.8. And I really don't have the ammo to speak of to, uh, to be using the pump action shotgun all night. Oh, okay. So I don't know. That's that's dramatic. That's a, almost double. You know, it's like seventy percent more damage. Uh, can I even? Can I maybe make some more shotgun rounds though? I'll do the best I can. And I think we need to do a little bit of a, a trader run today. Oh, that was the other thing. I need stuff like a generator and like relays and oh boy, yes, generator. Because what I want to do is go to the trader today and see if they're selling a turret so that I can put the turret on the top and hopefully fend off the birds a little bit. You know, just like kind of aim it straight up. We've got to wait a while anyway for some resources to craft. And uh, when I go topside here, I also need to put down all this topsoil to see if I can plug in some of the holes. Okay, what do we got up here? A whole bunch of messy divots in the ground that I, I don't know if birds are doing this or if zombies are doing this. Either way, very much bad news. Yeah, and I don't even know, why are they doing it like way, way over here too? Because our fighting position is like over there. So I don't know what the zombies are thinking. They're very much more unpredictable here in uh, 21 than they were in Alpha 20. Hey, I'm thinking to like maybe put a turret like right here facing this way. And um, if any zombies like stick around and start digging, that we, you know, the turret, maybe it'll shoot at them and reset their AI. And yep, supercharger. And let's go check on Jen. Can't say that I really noticed much of a boost there from the supercharger. Okay, Jenny, did you well, have, you by chance, a turret? Oh, she's got shotgun shells, which could be useful. Uh, two grand? Tempting. Very tempting. If she has a turret, I'm gonna see if I can get a sugar butt. Nope, nope. This is like all the uh, electronic stuff right here, and there's no turret in there. And this is all the stuff I've sold to her. Okay. Uh, that's a bummer. Okay, how about that? Nope, no sugar butts. Okay, I guess we're just gonna flat purchase that shotgun ammunition. That's a little bit helpful. All right, I... Safe, yeah, right let's there. go check on Bobby. There's not much else to do today. We'll have to check on Bobby again tomorrow, too, because it's going to be restock day, and he's our tool guy. Okay, we just made it to Bobby's, and we're going to go check his inventory. We've lost a lot of time doing this today. It. Bobby, okay, tell me you got a turret, please, please. Oh, you, oh, shotgun turret. Ah, no, <laughs> I don't have enough shotgun bullets for that. Oh, jeez. I wonder if I can make a shotgun turret anyway. Hunker Buster. Ooh, motorcycle handlebars. Ooh, that's tempting. You think we should do that while we're here today, and then maybe next week uh, after he restocks, we can get a uh, we can get the the other thing. 
what is it the chassis uh, I, I lose my words when i'm starting to get a little nervous okay we could do the whole awesome sauce sugar butt thing if we're gonna wait can i make that turret anyway smg shotgun no i can't make the shotgun turret anyway so probably best that i just you know buy it all in one pop here also this is all from cars i was dismantling along the way had to get some fuel all right bobby i will take your shotgun turret and where's the handlebars that could be a big leap for us i think yep let's get it Jeez, he's always he's also got the steel which is oh we're running out of money great yeah i think that will have to do it Jeez, man. Business with you. Ah, there's no way I'm going to have enough ammo to put into that thing to, like, defend us from birds tonight. Not unless I want to just not use the shotgun tonight. And then even then, I'd have to, like, orient the turret straight up in the air, and I don't even know if it would get good coverage. We're just not prepared for the, uh, the whole bird scenario right now. Well, there's no time to dwell on it. We got to get back and get prepared for the horde. Real quick before I leave, though, let's just check on my loot stage my game stage game stage is 195 which means i'm definitely in range for demos if i'm out here for horde night so if i would have done a wasteland series and been out here from day one we would be facing demos on day 21 and i just got the cement mixer <laughs> pretty scary also okay this is the best way home i think we just kind of cut cross country through this little desert patch onto the road and then all the way back home i'll meet you there Oh, jeez, I just sprayed my leg jumping down here. Great. Well, I do have the physician perk, so I should be able to just slap a splint on it and call it good. Let's test that out. And cured. Awesome. I did find a pair of quality six scrap iron boots, so I'm going to toss those on too. And I mined up a little bit of nitrate on the way, just one node. Oh, yes. Okay, good. So we can get a little bit more gunpowder for tonight. Okay, and in the workbench over here, a little bit more shotgun ammo, please. Okay, generator, wire relays, and the turret. Okay, gonna make a big decision here. Do we want to set up a turret upstairs to try to help with bird coverage? I don't see why not. I mean, I definitely see why not. It could be destroyed up there. A number of things could happen that would just be disastrous. Especially since we're gonna be putting a lot of our shotgun ammunition into it. Okay, so for... For coverage against the birds, let's go with a hole right there, and we'll go up to, it's all just very much temporary, something like a, um, I don't know, a little scaffolding piece on the back side here. Okay, let me up there and slap down the generator here, and this over here, I didn't bring the wire tool with me, great. Okay, drop that in. Drop in 150 bullets, lock ammo, set this up, refuel, turn on. Yep, go ahead and just juice it right up, and then uh, I'll grab the nail gun. Oh, and look at this. Yes, all of our mix is done. Very good. Okay, now that we're up here, yep, make sure that these are solidified. And go ahead, yep, fix that up. Just in case, make that into concrete. And then, yes, hook this up. And... Is that, is that going to be okay? Because, yeah, because we want them to shoot at zombies too if they're digging. So we can see the cone of vision here. And that seems to be covering most of the areas that they seem to be digging in before, I guess. I think they were digging over here a lot as well. But uh, this gives us at least like, you know, 33% coverage or something to that effect. And uh, yeah, that'll prevent them from trying to dig over here. But I'll also just fix that up so that doesn't become a problem. Because yeah, yeah, they've been digging over here. Bastards. Okay. What do we think of this? I think it's going to work? I don't know. Take your bets right now. Uh, it's about 50-50, I'd say. Really, what we need to do is... is Because uh, zombies are going to try to dig no matter what. The, the way to kind of get around that is to make a big pad that they just can't dig through, right? So if, if there was a big concrete pad here, it would take them so long for like one zombie to dig through it that it would just never happen realistically during a horde night. And I think what happens too is that they'll dig for a second, kind of like rage mode, and then they'll just get up and wander off after that. So I don't know. We'll see how it all works tonight. And on the way down here, I'm going to pull the ladder. Yeah, I don't want them to even remotely think that that's a possibility. Yep. Okay. Get the, uh, these, these are very valuable to me. Oh, what is this mess over here? 
Right, and there's this kind of mess over here. I wonder if I can fix this just with like a belt of cobblestone because they, they've done this. They've dug in at, at zombie head height. So let's give them a little bit more to work with here, a little bit more to chew on. Okay, that will help, I think, buy us a little bit more time. And uh, okay, the grenade shoots are still in place. Let's just make sure this is nice and strong here. All right, that's the last of the shotgun rounds there. I've decided to go back over to the Dubsy for tonight. Oh yes, more gunpowder here. Good, good, good. Not that I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I can do with that right now. What did I run out of in making shotgun stuff? Uh, a little bit of extra paper there, and yes, shotgun shells. Give me the rest of that. All right, well, the hour is late and our third horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, the whole gang is here now. Looks like the fighting window is working okay so far. We'll see when the cops arrive what happens there. And uh, what I wanted to test out was if I just put a pipe bomb there, is that going to like explode through the rails? I suspect that it does. Okay, I've got all the learning elixir into me and I've also, uh, I've got a little bit of coffee, but not much. I do have some mineral water though, which kind of helps out. Oh my God, there's so many zombies here. Okay, this is a little bit concerning right now. I do have the repair materials on me though. I think we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. This is where the, the sledgehammer is supposed to shine with big group knockdowns like this. Although I don't have the skill maxed out, so I, I'm not getting the really, really good bonus from it. But we'll get there eventually. Do the best we can for tonight. Here we go. We got a cop here. He just spit and hit his own guy. Okay, let's go ahead with a, um, a blackstrap coffee now. Uh, blackstrap, blackstrap coffee. Did I, I, did, I didn't bring the blackstrap coffee. I got regular coffee and I'll take a skull crusher. All right, let's do this. Okay, there was some cop spit right there, and it actually, I think it hit on these little ram pieces. As long as it's not hitting me, I'm good. Yeah, see, that stupid pipe bomb got stuck in there. I, you really gotta toss him down to get him through. In fact, I should go grab the grenades. The grenades are just over in the box. Let me just do that real fast. Go to weaponry, and yes, just toss the grenades into my inventory and see if that works any better. I'm sure it will. No, oh, that's... Okay, those blocks are terrible. Those are coming out. Look at that. Another... That was actually a full throw, too. Okay, yep. Mm, try that one. There we go. Okay. Gotta just throw them kind of straight down. So it's a bit difficult to see down there, but it looks to me like they are doing some considerable damage. Oh, jeez. Okay, yep. I would say things are going... Well, I was gonna say quite well so far, but then that happened, so not as good now. I do need to do some repairs. Uh, they've done a considerable amount of damage over here, and I don't think these scaffolding ladders, oh boy, are uh, showing the damage as much as I thought they would. Well, the good news is we've had good volume here so far, so my concern that zombies are digging somewhere is less, I guess. Whoa, geez, okay. Okay, and I just said that, and now there's not a lot of zombies, I don't feel like. Where, where's all the zombies here? I can hear a whole group of zombies, mostly spiders, off in the distance, and it sounds like they're above me. 
which means they're digging. The zombies are now in dig mode. Why would they do that? The question is, where are they digging? They're not directly above me because you would see the blocks kind of like the rubble kind of trickling down below. Okay, what can I do out here to investigate? Let's try maybe standing here for just a second. I can, they're definitely breaking. You can see the rubble now. Where are they? They're right here somewhere. Uh, oh geez. Uh, okay. I'm safe here, I think. Unless, are they digging through the tunnel right there? Is that where they are? Oh goodness. Okay, I want them to dig toward me, not into the base. <laughs> dig over here, zombies. Also, can I just huck a grenade in there? Is that... No, oh, nope, that didn't work. Uh-oh. There they are! I found them! <laughs> They're digging through the wall! Okay, now get a grenade up in there, please. A couple of them. Blast them on out of there. There we go. Ow! Ooh, okay. I need to go back inside now. Ah! Whoa! Oh, this is not good. I've sprained something. And I have no way to get back inside. Just run. Run and jump. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm in the wrong spot. Ah! Whoa! Okay. This is not good at all. Ah! Okay. Ow! Okay, and then make a little bridge for me and then oh, get back who was that ah, I'm running away close the door okay we are almost at um, emergency mode wow that was down to 4 HP oh boy okay once more into the fray I suppose we've got to fend the zombies off they are digging though for sure okay they are dropping down now kind of yeah, you can see him. Yeah, I, I, I can see him dropping down. They are, they're definitely happy with the pathing situation that they have right now. We just need to hope that that lasts for the rest of the night. Okay. Oh, the bikers, man. They really, they, they hurt me a lot. I don't like that. Hey, I'm going to just lean into the explosives. There's no sense in holding back now. And, uh, yep, also just make sure that nothing's going to break. Whole bunch of zombies here. Yep. Start off with the grenades then. One for you guys and one for you all down below. Okay, they've just broken something there, which means I think they can probably crawl through that gap now. It's okay, it is almost morning. Even if they dig through now, I'm confident in my ability to... Well, th actually, there is no escape. There is no way for me to get to the surface. I am stuck down here 100% no matter what. Just in time, too, I am kind of starting to run out of ammunition. Okay, there we go. That's it for the zombies down here. There's definitely a bunch of zombies somewhere that are digging. So I need to immediately get my ladder system set back up again. Okay, I've got the ladder in. Quickly, to the surface. Holy crap. Oh my... Oh my god, what happened up here? Did the shotgun do anything at all? Apparently not, because I can hear the zombies over here. They've definitely... Oh jeez, did they dig down and fall down into the crafting area? Oh, here's a whole bunch down here. Okay, that, that took care of a few down there. Where's the rest of them? Yeah, there's still more down there. Just keep hucking grenades until they're all dead. Yep, massive tunnel going down there, and I can see zombies. Leave a couple presents for them. <laughs> Blew up a cop down there. Okay, yep, oh, that's where the rest of them are right there, I think. How many holes do we have down here? My goodness. And they're all tourist zombies. And cops. Okay, one more, I think, and he's right in there. That was my last grenade, too. Did that take care of him? Yes. Oh my god, we've done it. Why did I decide to make a bedrock base? This has been a complete disaster. Look at the resources we're gonna have to put in just to plug in all these holes. That and why did they even decide to do that? Did they... No, everything's good over here. They should have wanted to jump straight down in, but... For some reason, is that a living zombie there? It is a living zombie. That is totally a zombie that's alive. Creamy ghost right here. <laughs> he doesn't have any arms or legs left. Well, we did get a fair amount of loot bags. Not as many as I would have liked. And we might even have loot bags that are stuck in their tunnels up here somewhere. So anyway, let me just get everything organized for the big loot up. All right, here we go. Eye candy in. Oh, and that, lo that loot bag just despawned, I think, as I opened it. That was interesting. In that case, we're on the clock. Okay, so now what? I am up here at the top, and I'm just gonna see if I can, uh, dive down here and get these couple loot bags that I saw. And also get a sense of what what they were trying to do. So this is kind of directly above the crafting area. You can see my bedroll right there. See if I can get out of here. Good, good thing we have the cement mixer, because I can actually craft up some stone and just start filling all that in. The real problem is, is why 
why were they doing it? Because if they've done it once, they're going to try and do it again, I think. And this goes all the way down to here, but I'm not sure exactly where this is. This is kind of like directly above where the fighting position was, I think. And then uh, this is the big one here, I think. This is the one where we thought we had them where we wanted them because they were digging down and then they kind of started poking through and, and they were falling onto the pipe over there. But then they also kind of poked out here and we're falling down onto this pipe. Unmitigated disaster. Okay, so the thing I need to look into first is stone. <laughs> How do I make stone blocks? All this stone, it just takes stone. I just have to process the stone into sand and into cement and that should be fine. Oh yeah, let's go through the loot that we got there a, a little bit here. Some uh, books, a, a fire axe, and that's that's it, basically. All right, I've got everything working to the best of my ability now. The cement mixers are rolling, the forges are rolling, and um, yeah, I just don't want to be here right now <laughs> and wallow in my shame. I'd rather uh, go topside, see if we can find something interesting to raid today. We need to start raising funds anyway so that we can maybe afford an SMG turret from one of the traders for the next horde. And hopefully within the next 24 hours or so, I'll have made enough stone blocks to kind of fill all this in. I'm, I'm assuming that we need something on the order of like 500 though. All right, it is Trader Day. Let's go check on Trader Jen and see if she has anything new for us. Oh, I just came over here to check the vending machine and look, that's weird. The armor that I put in there is gone. Wait a minute. Is it is it gone? It's gone, but I didn't get any money for it. There's no money in the vending machine. Oh, okay. Well, at least something happened. What if I discount this, like, dramatically? Let's see what happens there. <laughs> All right, see if I can restock. Nope, nothing there that I want. Uh, black drop coffee, learn an elixir. I have got like seven of those back home. Okay, how about jobs for today then? Clear, zombies infested, clear, fetch and clear. I would love the Downtown to marketplace. The Sounds lovely. Dangerous. Check her inventory, see what she has this time around. Looks like it's about the same stuff as she had the last time around. Nothing special. Yeah, nothing of particular interest here. Oh, and she's not interested in the things I have to sell her. Lovely. Jeez, Jen. I hope you come, come on back now. Easy. Well, I don't want to carry this stuff around, so put it in her water cooler. Let's go do this mission. Meet you there. Okay, well, I think this is the place right here. Not sure if I've ever done this before. Maybe I have. Yeah, it looks kind of familiar. Check on the newspaper dispensers out here for big hitters and bow hunters. What do you guys want? Oh, that's an interesting little sculpture right there. I like that. Huh, how did, oh, the corner stairs. Cool. Oh, and um, I, as soon as I get a better helmet, I'm gonna put the, uh, the drinking water filter mod on, then I can just kind of stop by these little uh, water holes and, and top off. Well, tier four fetch and clear, let's do this. Oh, jeez, and immediately trigger the zombies. One of those types of places. I see how it is. Ah, see, these little th signs here. I need to make these, like, takeable. I think that's the next thing on my, like, modding to-do list. Him and, oh, just a, a rad friend that I one-shotted. Nice. That makes me feel pretty good about myself after the punishing defeat last night. At least I didn't die. I came very, very close, but I didn't die. That's... That's the thing that counts, because if I die, I lose all of my equipment. I have been kind of stockpiling a backup set of gear so that when or if I do die, I'll at least have, you know, a good sledgehammer and some tools handy. There's an airdrop coming in outside somewhere. It's right next to Jen's. I don't even need to mark that. I'll definitely see it when I'm over there. Where does this go? I have no idea where that went. I think what that went to was like maybe this door here? Right, because this is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, and if memory serves, there's a bit of a fight to be had here. Okay, none of these are runners, which is nice to see. There we go. Oh, the duck bill. It's so good. Oh, and the group knockdown too. Yeah, feeling pretty strong these days. Bunch of zombies, I think. They're just downtown zombies trying to claw their way in from outside. Oh, landmine. Did not know that was there. Okay, there were some zombies kind of trying to break in from outside somewhere, and I heard a spider die, so I was wondering maybe is there like a spike system outside or something? Oh, here we go. Hello. Thank you very much. Take it. Yeah, imagine doing this place on infestation. And those six zombies that we just had would have been 12 zombies. Yeah, maybe I'll just continue upstairs and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to get stuck on the other side of that. That could be very bad. I like wide open spaces. Oh, this one's unlocked anyway. 
God, we got to be able to craft these things, man. I think the reason why we can't craft them is because they're 30,000 hit points. Although that one is definitely not 30,000. It's eight, eight hit points. Oh boy. Look at the loot bags here today. Not doing too bad on those. The runner here, Logan Weaver. Okay, let's just rob the shotgun messiah here. Unfortunately, we didn't get any good racks or shelves or anything in there. Completely cleaned out. I guess that crossbow is pretty good. I one-shotted that one hazmat zombie. Not that that's much of an achievement. Okay, yes, and this just circles back around to where I was just a second ago. All right, we're into the uh, maintenance area here. Whoa, okay. A little bit of a weird sound there. Oh, yes, the restore power section. So, yep, yeah, that's... Uh, I remember that from the last time I was here. And, oh, look at all that good stuff in there. Let's see if I can get the acid as well. Yep, got the acid. And blood bag? Uh, I don't really need those. I've never been in a situation where I need to make first aid kits. I am in a situation, though, where I need to go stash my inventory in the mini bike. All right, that's better. I quite like this place so far. Ooh, sham chowder. Cool. Is this, this is the main loot area, isn't it? I mean, I, I get... This has main loot vibes written all over it. Yeah, here they come. Couple pipe bombs down here. And then as soon as I see them, toss a... Oh, jeez, no, not there. Ow. No. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ow. I'm not sure if that worked at all. It doesn't look like it worked. Um, I might have killed one or two or something. I don't really know. Is that it? Is that all you can muster here? There we go. And done. We're clear, but we need to find the supplies. I forgot about that part. It looks like they're in here anyway. All right, let's snag up this main loot and get the hell out of here. Okay, we're into the main loot. Uh, okay, tools. And there's their water... Jeez, the water purifier mod that I just purchased. And I was all excited because I got to purchase it, and now I just find it in some stupid loot chest. <laughs> Whatever. I swear to God, that's how it works in this game. There's some sort of a hidden code. Anyway... I think we're done here. Back to Jens. All right, what do we get here? Hmm, decent ratchet. Uh, it's a little bit better than the wrench that I have. Um, but honestly, I think I'll just take the steel. And then we could consider... I've got a bit of a problem. Ooh, infest, infest, infested clear at the tri-med group. I do like those infested missions. Yeah, let's do that. Good. Okay, so that'll be a little bit faster usually too than the regular tier 4 mission, so we might be able to crank that out tonight. Oh, we'll level up and I got five skill points to spend. Okay then, uh, how about strength? Yeah, strength twice. And we'll, and we'll aim to get the last point with the cigar at some point somewhere. Jenny, you didn't have a cigar, did you? A cigar is considered rare medicine, and so she's gonna have the best chance and know all of her medicine is up here, so she is not carrying that. Don't let um, a zombie dog what, bite you in the ass on what, your way What out. book is it that, that gives us the cigar? Hey. Urban Combat Volume 2. Okay, how am I looking on the Urban Combat set? Oh, geez, terrible, actually. Uh, well, we could try and do a bookstore, see if we could get the book, if, um, if it turns out the other traders are not carrying that. But for now, I gotta go stash my stuff back at the base. So I will take care of that, and I'll meet you over at the TriMed group for the infestation. Okay, here we are at the TriMed group. Yikes, get away from me. Ah! Okay, maybe just get a bandage so that doesn't become an issue again. Yeah, it's, it's definitely still an issue. Ow. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, I do think this is a brand new POI that I've never seen before, so I'm excited to get in here and see what this is all about. All right, let's hit this. We're running out of time. In fact, oh, geez, this is going to run into nightfall, isn't it? That's nice. Maybe do we do this? If I knew my way around here better, I might just do the strategy where I run through and I stir everyone up. Maybe. Maybe do that. Um, if I could just get my... My run speed off of this guy, get my adrenaline rush, you know? Okay, maybe I can run through here and just, we can do a kind of a all at once kind of thing. Yep, is this working? Is it, okay, ah, now it's a dead end. Mm, nice. Okay, well, parkour! Jeez, oh, I guess I'm going upstairs then. No, okay, not what I was hoping for. Can I get through that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that that's good. Okay, that worked. I stirred up a few of them anyway. Yeah, I can see a bunch of them in that window right there. Try to blow them up. 
I think they're rads though, so good luck with that. Yep, I didn't kill anyone. Here we go. Look out for that guy. And kill. I would prefer to have the XP. Where are they going to come to? Over here. Ah, whoa. Hello there. Okay. One's right behind me too. Get out of here. I'm running out of stamina. Whoops. There we go. Ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back. Okay, slight abrasion. I think I'm okay though. Okay, so, okay, not a lot of loot in this place. A couple of bookshelves here and there. All right, I've already kind of gone through level two, but there's bound to be more zombies here somewhere. Nope. Oh, what happened? Oh, geez, I was going to say, that door opened on, on its own. I did not do anything to do that. Just one zombie back there? Zombies freaking opening doors now on their own. Insane. Okay, almost nightfall, so we're going to have to do the big boss fight at the end uh, on sprinting speed for everyone. It's probably going to be all rads and stuff anyway, so I don't know that's going to make too much of a difference. What happened here? There we go. All right, what's next in this place? Oh, jeez. Good morning. Maybe just one. Whoop, that, of course, is going to break. Yep, this guy woke up. Oh, boy. Big rad right here. Oh, man, that hurt. Just not take any chances with you. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, I'm in a medical place, and I'm suddenly running low on first aid somehow. How does that work? All right, it's, uh, the indication is we're going to... Oh, is it level four? Or no, this is the rooftop. Okay, yep, this is where the big fight's gonna be, too. So, make sure we're locked and loaded for this. This is why we take points into parkour. Let's do this. Where are you all? I don't see anybody up here. Is this just all clear? That was uneventful. Okay, there's this. But I, I don't get this. I think I've already been there. What about over here? Oh, oh, there they are. Oh, I just heard a door open and I was like, yep, that's gotta be it. Oh, they can definitely get right up there. Okay, didn't know that. There's the gas valve right there that I just saw. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, they don't want you hiding on top of those, do they? Maybe I can get the cop to blow up if I shoot him enough. There we go. Okay, there's our loot. A bunch of burnt zombies. They must have come from the, uh, the environmental hazard... Thing. Oh, ladder going up. Good little bottleneck. There we go. Oh, look at the, the penetration. Love it. That's, it's so good. I mean, I don't know if it has target penetration or if it's the duck bill or what, but I just got three kills with one bullet. All right. I think we're done here. College jacket. My goodness. Is that my first? That's my first college jacket. Oh my god, thank goodness. The only question I have is, is am I going to have enough heat protection here in the desert so that I don't have to deal with the whole hot overlay? I don't really care anyway. Yes, we're all clear. We can just return to Trader. And is this the way out? Looks like it could be, but I got to go investigate the whole, uh, what's it called? Environmental hazard over there. Okay, that was it right there. Okay, what was all this about? This is just... Okay, they make it too easy. Uh, yeah, maybe that was some kind of a... It was like a theatrics where all the burned zombies came out of there and they're supposed to be on fire and I just didn't quite catch it. Well, whatever. Let's get out of here. Find the minibike and I have the dukes, I think, now. Yep, we're up to 7,000 so I can just dive right off rooftops, no problem. And let's head home. Well, first, actually, we got the airdrop. It's right over there. Oh, I just ran out of gas. Crap. Hopefully I have some gas. I do not! <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, what's in the airdrop box? Hopefully something that helps with construction. Not really. Got an ammo crafting bundle and a crafting skill magazine bundle for a bunch of crap that I really don't need. Whoa! Oh man, I'm bleeding. Great. Damn it, Bo. Oh, Arlene's here too. Look out. Yeah, just let it bleed. It'll clot naturally eventually. I deserve to bleed right now, honestly. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to head back to the base and get everything put away and organized and start coming up with a plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.